Dying CIA agent claims he assassinated Marilyn Monroe and 36 other targets. Norman Hodges swears he remembers vividly each of the assassinations he committed for the CIA. He claims that all 37 of the murders he committed on the American soil were ordered by his commanding officer, Major James Jimmy Hayworth. Dying CIA officer Norman Hodges claims he assassinated 37 people, including Marilyn Monroe. The 78-year-old said he worked for the CIA for 41 years as an operative. He also admitted to acting as a hitman for the governmental agency. The retired CIA officer confessed to committing the assassinations during his stay at Santerra Norfolk General Hospital in Norfolk, Virginia, according to a World News Daily Report. Hodges was trained in martial arts and as a sniper. However, the former CIA agent said he is well versed in using explosives and poisons. According to Hodges, Marilyn Monroe was the only woman he ever assassinated. Hodges said Marilyn had to die. Monroe had to be eliminated because the famed actress had become a threat for the security of the country. Your Newswire reported a comment made by Norman Hodges regarding Marilyn Monroe's death. We had evidence that Marilyn Monroe had not only slept with Kennedy, but also with Fidel Castro. My commanding officer, Jimmy Hayworth, told me that she had to die, and that it had to look like a suicide or an overdose. I had never killed a woman before, but I obeyed orders. I did it for America. She could have transmitted strategic information to the communists, and we couldn't allow that. She had to die. I just did what I had to do. Marilyn Monroe died at her home in her bedroom on August 5th, 1962, between midnight and 1 a.m. Hodges said that while Marilyn was asleep, he snuck into her bedroom and injected the Hollywood actress with a huge dose of barbiturate nemetol, combined with a powerful sedative known as chloral hydrate. Hodges said he and four other CIA operatives carried out political assassinations across the country. According to Normand, the majority of the victims were union leaders, political activists, and journalists. However, he confessed that some scientists and artists whose thoughts and actions threatened the interests of the United States were also on the hit list. Four of the CIA operatives that worked in conjunction with Hodges are now dead for or missing. In 2011, Norman's commanding officer, Major James Hayworth, died of a heart attack. Two other CIA assassins are also dead, and the last one, Captain Keith McInnes is presumed dead after being reported missing in action in 1968. The FBI has not taken Norman Hodges' confessions lightly. They have placed the former CIA agent under custody and are conducting an investigation. However, as one might assume, very little documentation is available pertaining to such clandestine operations, including the death of Marilyn Monroe. I hope you enjoyed my video. Please subscribe and you have a good one!